Hi everyone, welcome back to The Chosen One by Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for joining. Thank you so much for your support. Today's word is, God said, I know that the devil is lying to you, telling you I am not with you. The devil will always tell you lies about God. You have to understand that the devil want to be in God position. The reason why he got kicked out of heaven because he thought he was better than God. He wanted to steal the light. And I want everybody to understand, you have to stop allowing the devil to get into your head. The devil is a liar. The devil is here to steal, kill, and destroy. We got to make sure that we're doing our part as believers. We say that we're going to follow God. We say we love God. But guess what? Some of us is still got our foot on the devil. And I just want you to know that God telling you that Satan is lying and you still trying to be on both sides of the field. You trying to be going with God, then go with Satan. Listen, the devil lied to you. He's not telling you the truth. He want to be God. And that's the truth. He's here to steal, kill, and destroy. Whatever the devil trying to get, he trying to get people's souls that ain't even doing nothing for God. So if you're not reading the Bible, if you're not fasting, if you're not seeking, he going to mess with you because you are opportunity. So you, any, any way you can change yourself is start reading the word of God. Start pouring into yourself. Start reading the Bible. Read on faith. Read on love. Read on understanding God. Read on trust. Read on your belief. And learn how to study the word of God. I'm not saying read the Bible all day. I'm saying give yourself 30 minutes. Give yourself 25 minutes. I'm going to tell y'all something. Every morning when I wake up, I love to watch Joyce Meyer. I like to watch T.D. Jakes. I would do maybe a 30-minute video, 25 minutes. I would sit and watch people videos and I will get a piece of paper and I will write down what I had learned and the time I prayed and everything. And God will answer my prayers. You want God to do things in you? You got to stop allowing the devil to lie. The devil going to always lie to you because he see that you love God. When you love God, oh, the devil going to try you. I remember when I first got saved, the devil tried, tried to manipulate me. Tried to tell me that God ain't real. I say, I rebuke you in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all got to get your authority together. Get your voice right. The same way you can yell to that man, get off of me. I'm not interested in you. Leave me alone. The same way you yelling at him. You need to be yelling at Satan and say, get off of me. You're a liar and you belong in the pit of hell. You tell him, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And you tell him, you keep fighting. You keep clapping your hands. Clap your hands and stump your feet and tell him to get off of you. He, oh, he don't like that. He don't like when you praise the Lord. He don't like when you do that. He don't like when you when you spend time with God. He don't like that. He's a he's a he's jealous. The devil is mad. He's jealous because you give all your attention to God. He wants you to follow him. We don't want to follow Satan. We want to follow God. We don't want Satan to get our attention. We want God to get our attention. So I love y'all. Be encouraged, you know, be encouraged. The Bible verse that I want to read to you is Romans 16 and 20. And it reads, the God of peace will soon crush Satan under your feet. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. God is going to be with us and he's going to give us his peace. I just want to say to everyone, be encouraged. You know, sometimes the devil will try you, but you got to know by faith, God will help you. So I just want to say, keep your head up, be strong. Know that you will make it. Believe that God got you and trust him. Trust in him more. Read in your Bible today. Read on trust and faith and see what God can do for you. I love you. Keep your head up and be strong. Stop believing everything that Satan tells you. He's a liar. He will lie to you because he wants your focus off of God. You got to realize the devil is here to steal, kill, destroy. He's here to, to steal. Then he's here to destroy you. Then he's here to kill you. You got to realize he, he, he wants he want your seed. 
The devil wants your seat. Don't let him take your seat. Don't let him take what God put in you. Remember, God loves you so much that he wants you to do the best that you can. The devil don't want you to do your best. He wants he want your seat. He wants you to lose confidence in God. He wants you to give all your attention to him. I rebuke that in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is trying to follow Satan, I ask, Father, that you help them to follow you and keep their eyes on you. Anything that Satan is trying to do today towards them, I rebuke it. And I cast it out in the name of Jesus. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. We shall serve you all the days of our life. In Jesus' name, allow us to follow you and, and be in confidence and, and love you and have faith and trust in you. In Jesus' name, God have us. We will be fine. Believe in the Lord. He will guide you and he will help you. Anything Satan is saying to you, he's a liar. And tell him you belong in the pit of hell, you demon. And keep it moving. I love you. Be encouraged. Keep the faith. Keep moving. Don't allow, do not allow Satan to mess you up. God has brought you this far because he know what you are capable of. Do not give up, but pray. Stay blessed.